Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Shadow Hearts, a Patreon reward for Zaltus. We're playing four hours of this game. Yeah, let's get back into it. We are looking for someone who is apparently the seal, and I feel like this place got even bloodier and more disgusting. What? What is this smell? Is she bothered? She isn't acting the same as before. Is it because of Pops? Maybe? Oh, hi, monsters. We got the same things? Yeah, we got the same things. Alright, we all want to go after the Canis, though. Because I hate those guys. Oh, I hate them varmints. Bad doggy. Oh, I got a nice. Strike! Excellent. So, Yin and Yang. Using Yin and Yang arts you have learned. Uh, damages all enemies by hurling fireballs. Let's not do that yet. I feel like that might be a good thing to save until... Uh, a boss fight, and I miss. These zombies are moving awfully fast. They don't seem like zombies. Zombies are supposed to be slow. Don't knock her down. That is rude. Dang it! Durr. Have I mentioned I hate timing systems? So basically it's a case of, I, I prefer, you know, the, the tactical elements of games to be, you know, do I heal now or do I attack? You know, that sort of thing. Oh, Alice leveled up. That's pretty good. Um, not, do I have the hand-eye coordination to actually get my basic attacks off? Uh, I got a little bit more soul energy. Okay, I have no idea what that symbol was. Does that mean there are going to be no more random encounters? Go away! Um, how about no? What if we go in here? <laughs> so you're here again. You'll never leave. That is Yamaraj's decision. What you mean, Granny, is it's the decision of whoever's controlling Yamaraja behind the scenes. Wh who are you? <laughs> I'm the adept hired to exercise this village. So, are you ready to say, Uncle? <laughs> you couldn't even catch me. Why would I be afraid of you? Poof! Hey, we missed her again. Can't you use something, some kind of sutra to keep her in place? No, I can still feel her presence. She's still hiding somewhere in this house. I guess it's time to apply the secret formula for smoking out cat people. Do you have any idea what we should do? I think that's kind of what he was getting at. That I do. I suppose you know how cats take to catnip? I made it by mixing catnip with a special dye. Well, here is something called anti-cat powder. I'd rather have a cat cookie. Also, the period is supposed to be inside the quotation mark, not outside. Man, these leaves really stink. You just carry these around? So that's what that funny smell was. Now I get it, that's why Granny hit herself. Right, she probably couldn't stand the thought of running into me and having to smell this odor again. It's actually an herbal remedy for stomach aches, but its smoke has a powerful effect on cat people. Simply carrying it is effective, but burn it in the smoke the, and the power multiplies. Let's smoke her out. Oh, but to do that, we'll need a metal vessel and a torch. You need to go find those two things. When you bring them back, I'll burn the incense in this house. A metal vessel and a torch. 
Right. Should be another period there. What can I say? I'm a ty typography uh, uh, dork. There is a scroll of a cannibal god on the altar. Maybe you should. You guys shouldn't actually advertise it like that, that openly. Oh, all right, out we go. Metal vessel, huh? Uh, do you have anything, sir? I'm looking for something. Mm, a metal vessel and torch. A metal vessel you can get from any street shop, and there are some torches near the gate. That's if I remember correctly. I want to buy a tool. I could now get a shell bracelet or a bone bracelet. Well, no one's been poisoned yet. Confusion seems like it would be really bad. Let's go with one of those. There goes all my cash. There we go. I accidentally talked to you again. Alright, there we go. Alright, so the shaw. Okay, well, it wasn't that uh, we took care of all the random encounters, that's for sure. Oh, hi. Green Flyer. I don't know what the heck you are. I don't trust you guys. You seem like you might be bad. Well, she's dealing pretty good damage there. Dang it! Well, for all the poison attacks we've been uh, getting, still have not been poisoned yet. I'm good with that. Hitting people with books is still the best attack. One of the disappointing things about Final Fantasy V is no books as weapons. Got a little bit of wind soul energy as well. Alright, so a metal vessel. A metal vessel stained with blood. I wonder what it was used for. Normal ring. Press the X button at the right time so that you can have... Okay... Seriously? You've received Metal Vessel. Why do you make me do that for, to pick up an item? You found a torch and a pile of sticks. It seems like it can still be used. You've received a torch. Welcome. I can't tell you how much I was waiting in hopes of working my needles on you. Care for some acupuncture treatment? Or some moxibu moxibustion? I have no idea what moxibustion is. Uh, please. But before we get to that, since you're a new customer, I have to tell you how my business works. There are plenty of great weapons, but they're not worth much if you don't master them. Normally it takes years upon years to learn just one weapon, but that hardly sounds like fun, right? With my acupuncture technique, you'll feel like you've known the weapon for ages, and all you have to do is lie there while I work my magic on you. Who could ask for a better deal? Acupuncturist. The acupuncturist can strengthen the weapon's attack power and widen the hit areas of the judgment ring. Reinforcement is possible to three degrees for each of these. In addition, the state can be reset for free but you do not receive a refund. Uh, so... Do 
I have something about uh, how much it costs? Because they were talking about refund. I really have not had too much trouble with hitting on rude heroes, so... So you can do attack power, and that'll lower, that'll shrink the uh, hit areas. Oh, okay, price. I can widen the attack area, and it won't actually do anything. Okay, so you can do both. So it looks like if I max out attack power and then max out hit area, it's the exact same. But that's really, really expensive. can't even afford to uh, increase his attack power. So it's basically one point per thing. Um, I'm not going to do it for now, since I did just buy that uh, other thing. The, uh, the confusion-resisting item. Hi, monsters. bit of trouble with hers, but not that much. Oh, good. Alright, so those guys can do confusion. Dang it. I am having a lot of trouble with his. Well, that's all we needed anyway, so... Alright, well, it didn't seem to work. Status effects just seem to have a rather low chance of working. Dang it! Yeah, it does seem like for me, uh, increasing the hit area for weapons is the way to go. Got a level for Rude Hero. And a little bit more soul energy. Alright, I imagine that we're kind of near... Um, a boss fight. Let's go ahead and save it. to the uh, house we go and see if we can summon the uh, mayor lady. Okay, I've gathered all the tools. Well, I guess I'll give it a go. Let's see, put the anti-cat powder into the metal vessel and light it with the torch. Holy ca crap, that's blue. Whoa, now this stinks! Hi, lady! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I've got you now, old hag. You ready to be skinned, cat? How dare you? I'll show you all! 
You're all in big trouble now. Well, that's a rather large uh, kitty. Bad kitty. Uh, what do we got? Felinus. Uh, let's go ahead and do a fusion. Let's be a raging tiger. Hidden dragon. Oh, God, my head. Kitty on kitty action. Uh, let's see. Flying stones. Sure, why not? Forty damage is pretty nice. Ow. Ah, eh, she should probably do a little bit of healing. It's pretty impressive that her book just floats there. I wish I could have a book that would just float in front of me. Uh, let's try the ogre flame dance. Yeah, that's just what she said. Yeah, 34 damage is pretty good. Um, I have enough to do another Flying Stones. Windfang. Can you cure everyone? No. Alright, we're all okay on hit points, I think. Just smack the kitty with your book. Bad kitty! Bad kitty! I'm glad that the attack uh, um, ring thingy is the same here. Holy cow, that did, like, the same damage as the, uh, um... Flying stones. I'm pretty sure that this does more damage than he could do, so. Another wind fang. Alright, I might want to do a little bit of healing here. Go ahead and heal up Rude Hero. Thank you. It's interesting how the healing uh, amount seems to differ based on who the target is. All right, kitty. Have some more, some of my own kitty claws. Got a lot of hit points. Keep going with the fire spell. And down goes Kitty. Silly Rakshasa. Ah, 120 experience points. Level ups for uh, Alice and Zhuzhen. She learned Holy Edge. And we got a lottery ticket. Uh, I've been defeated by a human. You'll never understand the pain of giving birth, only to have them devoured. My vengeance was in vain. I feel for you, but I suggest you let it go and give yourself some peace. I'll ask my employers to pray for the souls here. I won't accept pity from you. Yamaraja, I leave everything in your hands. The heck was she talking about having her kids devoured? Oh, I got it. So the monsters in this village actually came from the souls of domestic animals, huh? No, no, Alice. We're not done yet. Next comes that so-called shrine over there. <laughs> now for Yamaraja. 
Uh, I feel like going to, uh, use the tent. Because we're probably going to have another one. Uh, let's see, lottery ticket. Can draw in lottery. All party members recovered full hit points and MP. Let's go ahead and save it again. Other than healing, I probably could have gotten through that without using any uh, um, MP, though. Wasn't particularly difficult of a fight. Well. Do you dare violate the shrine? Yes, I do! Let's go ahead and defile it. Be careful, rude hero. Yamaraja is the lord of hell. He's quite different from those cat people from before. Be on guard. Piece of cake. Now let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh god, there's a camera in there. Ew. That is, uh, rather gross. Alright, let's go with Fusion of the Death Emperor so I can drain MP. Of course, Darkness might not be great against this guy. I don't know. Uh, let's attack the target with Living Darkness. We'll see how that works. Thirty-seven damage. Large whirlpool. I'm guessing this guy is like water based or something. Holy cow! For three turns, the size okay size of our hit areas is smaller, I guess. Um. Holy edge adds light class to the target's physical attack. Mm. Not gonna bother right now. That is a lot smaller. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a pretty big problem. Well, I still made it. Forty-one damage. Messenger. So this is a little annoying. Ow! Well, it's a good thing I was going to heal him next. I wonder what if I'd use the MP if I missed. Do another Ogre Flame Dance. Ah, I don't think I did. So that's good. Dark Messenger. I should probably attack just to see how that works out. Flash Flood. Thirty-two. Holy cow! It's a good thing we have a white mage. Keep going with ogre flame dance.
I mean, it's doing more damage than it did against the last person, but I'm not sure if, uh... Oh, God. All right, I got two hits. Ow. Ow! Oh, fine again. Okay, um... Let's try a regular one. See how much damage this does. Yeah, I think that did more. Yeah, just the basic attack seems to do a pretty decent amount of damage. I suppose I could have used the other thing to increase uh, special attack power. I should have done that on Zhuzhen. Assuming it does what I think it does. Stop attacking her! Raise the target's special attack power for five turns. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do a bit of draining. Twenty-six MP. Alice has gone berserk. What? How did this happen? Oh, is that because she uh, got down to zero on SP? I think that's what it was. I don't know how to uh, cure that, but... She might die if I'm not careful. Or we could kill him. That works too. I'm good with that result. We've got a star brooch. Uh, 180 experience points, 1800 cash. I have no idea how to increase SP to keep her from going berserk. I believe that's what happened. Got a little bit of water. You. That takes care of him. I'm impressed, kid. You've got good stuff for a youngster. Thanks to you too, girl. I guess my work is pretty much done now. But wait, something's been bothering me. Just who is this person that's supposed to be controlling Yamaracha? He probably thought if the black tortoise was here, it would stand in the way of his evil plans. So he used the cat people to steal the black tortoise seal. Actually, just a small votive picture. It's quite sad. He took advantage not only of the villagers, but of the local sleeping spirits. Is he a man named Roger Bacon? Roger Bacon? He's the warlock that tried to carry me off on that train. You two know Roger Bacon? Is he that famous? Hmm. If Roger Bacon has reappeared, then probably there can be no doubt. Huh? I was captured by the Japanese in Changchun and was being escorted to Feng Tian on a special train. Bacon showed up on that train, killed the Japanese soldiers, and tried to abduct me. But of course, I came in gallantly and picked him off like a helpless rabbit. Uh, rabbit. Not rabbit. Rabbi. Picked who off? Roger Bacon. Ha 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 Roger Bacon, you actually think you killed him? Well, I did kind of smash his face in. Sorry, young man, but that's impossible. He's not likely to succumb to you, no matter how hard you may fight. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Zhu Jin. Now, now, don't get all hot under the collar. I know you're strong, kid. Anyway, here's what I think. It wasn't Roger Bacon who used the local spirits. But I don't doubt that he's involved somehow. Someone else behind the scenes? I wonder if this has to do with the army trying to take me to Japan. But the waves coming off this shrine seem to be more deeply rooted, purer kind of malice. 
It's filled with hatred and lust and vengeance. You're really quite a girl, aren't you? In my profession, people with powers of perception like yours are called demonized. Well, that's kind of a silly name, isn't it? Of course, in this country, anyone who has powers that others don't understand will be tagged a demon. But your powers seem to be special. You can see things others can't see. I see dead people. And hear what others can't hear. I hear dead people. Best not flaunt these, those powers. You'll soon be the target of those who would use you and then kill you. Hey, old man, keep your ominous fortune telling to yourself. You too, kid. The art of fusion is a forbidden art lost in ancient Japan. It's a double-edged sword. A forbidden art from the Age of the Gods? What are you talking about? Uh, I'm pretty sure I said nothing about the Age of the Gods. If your heart becomes enclosed in darkness and your powers run wild, you'll be a danger to everyone. Give me a break. I can cover my own ass, thank you. I suppose your father taught you how? Forget it. But I want you to know that the furor you've just been through is most likely only the beginning. Now then, let's be going. I expect we can open the gate now. Well, that's pretty handy. You've received Shell Bracelet. Ooh. What's that do for us? Huh. Doesn't include uh, equipment there. Is that the poison one? Uh, yep. Uh, note, escape possible even with all berserk allies. I suppose I should have realized that you can escape from battles, but I didn't really. Uh, P defense would be 28. Let's go with that. And you can have the bone bracelet, and you can have the shell bracelet. There we go. Alright, let's go uh, hit up the save point. Where's the peddler? Did the peddler already leave? Alright, well, it is about time to uh, take a save and end the episode. When we come back next time, uh, we will leave the village and see if we can continue on elsewhere. See you next time, everyone.